Welcome to New Wave Traders. In this video, I'm going to be diving into the Bits Gap software program, which has two main functions. One is automated bot trading, and the second is a smart trading function, which is ultimately my favorite function from Bits Gap. There are two main automated bots that Bit Gaps uses, which I'll be providing a quick tutorial and walkthrough in this video. And then we'll be diving into the smart trading functions at the end of this video. The platform is very easy to use and laid out. When you first log in, you're gonna be greeted with this interface under the trading tab, where in the top right, you're gonna see your account functions where you can go to your accounts, fill out programs, terms and conditions, and so forth. You'll get your notifications, and then you'll also go to the exchanges that you can connect to the platform as well. It basically handles all of the main exchanges such as Binance, Bitfinex, Bittrex, Coinbase Pro, FTX, HitBTC, Kraken, Qcoin, and several more. You've got your affiliate program here as well. So of course, if you're interested in checking out BitsGap, use the affiliate link down below if you're interested in supporting the channel through that means. And then we've got creating a new bot. So we can go ahead and we can click this start a new bot. There are two bots that BitsGap uses. One is called an S bot. The other is called a classic bot. They're very simple to understand, but ultimately I want to put a disclaimer in here that when it comes to automated bot trading, this is not a substitute for poor technical analysis and education around trading. You've got to understand what the bots are doing, how the technicals of the market work as well to best utilize the bots. On the other hand, automated bot trading is a good substitute for lack of poor trading psychology. So if you're heavily controlled by your emotions, just don't have enough time, then bot, automated bot trading could be useful to you, but you've really got to put in the time to back test and do things proper, which I'll talk a little bit about in this video as we dive in a little bit deeper. For now, let's go ahead and fire up an S bot. All right, simply all an S bot is doing once you come in here is that it's using these red lines to sell and it's using the green lines to buy. So this works very well in a sideways market where price can basically move up and down like a center dot. If we've got a range like this, then this bot can do pretty good because it's gonna be buying down here on the bottoms as a dollar cost averages in, and then it's going to be selling and dollar cost averaging out as price rises above the median line. This would do very poorly, however, if price were trending downwards, as the bot would be looking to chase after price until it runs out of money, at which point as it continues to dip lower, you'd basically be held left holding a bag. There are some settings off here to the right that you can adjust to try and increase the performance of this, which ultimately needs to be back tested over several months to really ensure confidence in what you're doing. So for example, we've got trailing up. Trailing up is basically a function where the grid that you're seeing here on the screen moves up with price. This can be great if you've got an infinite amount of money. However, if you've got a smaller account, it's likely that you're exiting your positions before the meat of the move actually comes, which will leave you missing out on a lot of gain. Trailing down, is the opposite side of things. Keep in mind that these bots cannot short the market and use leverage. Therefore, they're only spot trading and fees must be taken into account with this as well on the exchange that you're trading on. The trailing down function is simply going to decrease the grid as price goes lower. So for example, if this price here were to move down, the grid would shift to bring the median line to a new point in here, where it looked to dollar cost average in down here and then look for a price to swing back up. In some circumstances, price will not make it back above the median line and it will move down again. And thus, if you have more funds to dollar cost average into the asset, the grid will shift its median line down here again and then look to dollar cost average in again, looking for price to swing back up and then dollar cost average out. Without understanding how the markets move, you can see how this could be a dangerous aspect to get involved in. However, if you have a good strategy in place in the, order to identify sideways markets, especially on higher timeframes, you could expose that inefficiency and apply a bot such as the S bot or the grid bot here to take advantage of that. Bots can be very useful. I use them in the Forex markets to automate some trading while I focus my own attention inside of the crypto markets. However, I will admit that the bots that I use are much more advanced than what we've got access to here on BitsGap. And although these might be effective, it's crucial that you really back test and take the time to test them out and master the inner workings of them before applying real money to it. Here's a quick explanation of the S bot overall and an example of it. Simply what we're doing is we are dollar cost averaging in 
a certain dollar amount. Whereas the other bottom I'm about to show you is going to use the exact same strategy, but it's going to dollar cost average and using the same currency amount rather than the dollar amount. Your take profit function as we come back to this here will actually sell out everything once you hit a certain percent. So in other words, let's say that price has dollar cost average in on the drop here and then it moves back up and you hit 5% right about here. At that point, the bot will shut down, close everything out and it'll look to dollar cost average back in as price moves back underneath that median line. Stop loss does the opposite side of things where let's say that given the scenarios I've talked about where price continues to drop and drop and drop and we go lower and lower and lower, at a certain point you can have a, a stop loss put into place where the bot will shut down and exit the position altogether to minimize your loss any further. The size of your account and the time frame that you're looking to trade on would be strong factors in determining whether or not this would be a good strategy to implement with your bot. There's a backtest function here as well that you can simply click to look at and provide a date range and see the performance of the bot over the last period of dates that you chose. For example, here the 30 day result was 1.94%. This is the S bot overall that they offer, but let's go ahead and take a look at the other one. This is called the classic bot. The classic bot is very similar to the S bot. The main difference is that it dollar cost averages in and out of its trades using a fixed base currency amount rather than the dollar amount. As such, as you buy down, you'll buy 10 Litecoin, which will cost $100, 10 Litecoin, which will cost $90, 10 Litecoin that will only cost $80, rather than spending $100, $100, $100, $100, $100 which is how the other S bot is set up. Same thing goes on the upside as well, which means that you'll actually gain more money as price increases in this case. As such, they explain that the classic bot is best for rising markets where price is moving upward. Between the two of them though, they still use the same strategy, just different investment strategies on the dollar cost averaging aspect of them. We have the same functions over here as well with the trailing stop, take profit, and the stop loss. Notice that we don't have a trailing down. This is because this works better in an upwards rising market Therefore, trailing up is more beneficial in this case. We can still close out the entire bot at a certain percentage by putting in a take profit. If we click this here and then say the moment we hit 10%, I want everything to close out and I want this bot to stop. Vice versa on the stop loss end, if price ends up going down too far, we wanna stop our losses at a certain price point. All of this becomes irrelevant if you don't have a technical system in place to understanding the ebb and flow of the markets altogether to expose inefficiencies of them. Therefore, bots are a poor substitute for a lack of technical analysis education, but are a good substitute for lack of trading psychology. Given that these bots are set up with set strategies, I feel it's very crucial to stress that practicing the best areas to utilize them and creating a system around that would be the best way to utilize these bots. Whereas most traders are likely to just set them and let them go, and as a result are most likely left holding multiple bags when price decreases too far, which is likely to happen on higher time frames when we go into larger Correction. These are the two and only bots that Bitscap offers. They're very simple to understand their strategies and it might be a good fit for you. But ultimately, I think the biggest edge that Bitscap can offer a trader is their smart trading platform. So I'm excited to dive into that next. Off to the left here, if you click the trading tab, you'll be brought to an interface that looks very common amongst most exchanges. You have an order book off to the left. You've got your recent trades off to your left here as well. And you've got a trading view chart installed here as well. And then off to the right, you've got your order function. But what makes this so unique and what gives traders such a big edge use it, utilizing this platform and the smart trading functions is that we can apply multiple stop losses take profits as well as cancel other orders, which I'll explain as we get further in. On most exchanges, why this is so beneficial is because most exchanges will just allow you to do one or two of these multiple functions that we need access to all of them ideally to really have a good edge in the market. For example, most exchanges will let you buy instead of take profit, but they won't let you buy, set a take profit and a stop loss. Some will let you set a entry, they'll let you set a stop loss and they'll let you set a take profit, but they'll only let you set one take profit for only 100% of your trade. This becomes very inconvenient because from a trading standpoint, we understand that things can ebb and flow and change at certain points. And so ideally what we want as a trader is we wanna be able to 
enter in at a price or even multiple prices. And then we want to have a stop loss. And then we want to be able to exit at multiple levels as well. This gives us the biggest edge in the market to capitalize on the biggest gains. One, our first take profit and our second take profit can secure our trade so that if price does roll against us, we don't lose money. Secondly, we can create a trailing stop loss function that when TP1 or TP2 is triggered, our stop loss rises a certain percent amount. This helps us ensure that not only did we take profit when the market presented it to us, but also if price rolls against us, we've minimized our loss because our stop loss automatically was raised due to bot utility and utilization. And vice versa, if price just rolls back but creates a higher low and then pivots towards the upside, we didn't have to force an exit of 100% like we most exchanges force us to do back here. And instead we're able to maximize a third take profit or even a fourth and a fifth. With BitsGap, we're able to use a total of five take profit targets. If I can bring your attention here to the right, I'd like to walk you through how to set up a trade and utilize some of these functions. So first and foremost, we're interested in buys. So we would set our price that we'd like to buy Bitcoin at, at a certain price. So let's say that we're gonna buy it right about market price right now at $60,730. We'll do the amount of Bitcoin for just 65,000. And the amount that we wanna sell here is going to be right about 25%. 7% is gonna be the profit that you put your target price at. So the amount that we wanna sell of our actual position is gonna be 25. Let's go ahead and add in another one here. And in this case, let's go ahead and change our target price now all the way up to $70,000. You'll see our percent over here shift. So now we know that that's a 15% gainer that if we can make it all the way up to $70,000. And we're going to look at this point to get rid of 50% of our position size. We're going to add in another one here. And this time around, let's go ahead and change this to 75000 And we're going to want to get rid of just 20, let's do 10% this time. We're at another target profit at this point. We're gonna go all the way up to $100,000 for Bitcoin because we know it's all gonna happen. And we're gonna be looking for taking our last 15% of that. It then gives us our projected profit once all of these amounts are triggered, which would be about $12,555 if we exited at each of one of these four levels. We've then got our stop loss that we can put in here as well. Our stop loss, we're going to put that just underneath the low here at 59,786. This will give us our projected loss if that stop loss is triggered. On the screen, you can see where this is all happening at. So we've got our entry price, we've got our stop loss, we've got our take profit up here as well, and then higher take profits above that. Now the one cancels other order down here is simply where if we want to straddle a trade. I'll give an example of this. Let's say that we're interested in buying at $6,200, but we're interested in selling if price drops underneath 59,873. We can actually set both of these orders. And on this second order of whichever one we set second, we can trigger the one cancels other. And simply what we would do at this point is we would click this and we would say it shows no open orders right now. But if we had the 6200 order up here and we were inputting the short order here, we could simply say that if the short order is triggered first, please cancel my $62,000 order. This is a huge advantage to being able to create an edge in the market where we can create flexibility and save time to where we don't have to be as glued to the screen. But if a certain level is hit first, it entails price is going to go a certain direction given the system that we're using. As such, this is considered a smart trading function. Or any exchange that I've worked on over the past four years being a full-time trader in the crypto markets has not allowed me to do these types of functions where I can have multiple take profits, where I can have a trailing stop loss, where I can have a cancel order depending on another order getting triggered or not. As such, I find this to be one of the biggest advantages for traders to use BitsGap platform. In summary, the, the functions are straightforward. You've got two bots that you can utilize called the S bot and the classic bot. They both use the same strategy, but different investment dollar cost averaging strategies to them. I'd be very cautious plugging and playing with this. I'd make sure to use a demo account and back test it. And then after that, at least three months of really just using a small account to test the best areas to utilize these bots. Given the strategies that they use, it is most likely going to be in your best interest to use them intermittently, meaning that you can't just let them run. If an S bot is best for sideways market, a classic bot is best for rising markets. 
then you're gonna be want to be an active manager of these bots to turn them on and off depending on the market conditions. Therefore, they're not a good substitute for lack of technical education, but they could be a good substitute for lack of trading psychology and time. My favorite function about BitScap and what I think most traders can utilize it for the most is really the smart trading functions that allow us to take multiple take profits, trailing stop losses, as well as cancel other orders. Let me know in the comments what you feel you could benefit most from the BizCap functions that we've talked about in this video. And if you wanna give it a try, then I invite you to use the affiliate link down below in the description. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you.